AITA for refusing to contact a restaurant about an unwanted curry? My girlfriend is making me feel fucking insane right now so I need a reality check ASAP. Before I explode. My girlfriend came over to dinner at my apartment tonight and we ordered Thai. When we got it, there was a curry dish that neither of us ordered. I double checked the receipt and I wasn't charged for it so I was like, sweet free food. She told me I should call the restaurant and I said, fuck that. They're fuck up. Why should I spend a second thinking about it? And she said that the curry could be for someone else's and that they could fix the mistake if I called. I told her she was being ridiculous and that if someone didn't get their fucking curry, they could call the restaurant themselves and that it wasn't my problem. She got all pissy and said I had a moral obligation. I'm not kidding. Those were the exact words she used. Moral obligation to let the restaurant know. I told her that she had to be kidding but that if she wanted to call a restaurant, she was more than fucking welcome to. She obviously didn't do that because WHO the fuck would and just sulked. Ate quickly. And left. I think she's off her fucking rocker but I'm here to ask the moral philosophers on this sub if informing the restaurant about a fuck up is actually a moral obligation. Quick answers preferred because if I'm the asshole, which I sincerely doubt I am, obviously, I'll apologize. NTA the restaurant isn't going to ask for it back. They literally can't. When the customer missing the food mentions it they'll remake them one. Y'all scored free food. Signed a restaurant worker. NTA but you sound super aggressive and I hope you didn't swear at your girlfriend and declined her. Request more diplomatically. You don't come off as a very nice person. And if your response to this was as nasty as this post was then I wouldn't have even stayed to finish the meal. I'd be straight out the door without a second thought. Your NTA for refusing to call the restaurant. Absolutely YTA for how you speak to, about your girlfriend. The unnecessary aggro behavior is gross and I hope she dumps ya. YTA. Calling the restaurant isn't necessarily a moral obligation, but it's the right thing to do. They are not going to take the food back but they could fix the other order before they disappoint the other customer. But the big issue is your reaction. How did this turn into such a big issue that your GF felt so uncomfortable that she left? You could have just said something like, I hear what you're saying but I don't want to call. They won't take the food back anyway but you could call if you want to. If you said that in a calm, respectful way she might have called. Or not. And you could have gone on with your evening and enjoyed your meal. There's no reason to get this worked up about it. You aren't an asshole about the food but you are an asshole for how you talked about your GF. YTA. You clarified in your comments that she wanted to call to inform the restaurant of their mistake. Before another customer complained about it. Your GF was being kind and thoughtful and instead of hearing her out. You sound like berated her. You call her reasoning, dumb as shit, and undermine her judgment. No wonder she didn't call. You made her feel stupid. You could have handled this so much better and instead you purposely chose to be an ass. Get a fucking grip. You're not the asshole, but are an asshole. YTA. She sounds like a nicer person that you deserve. The way you describe the situation. And her. Is absolutely appalling. YTA. Your girlfriend is a kind and considerate enough soul to care about some random person she's never met potentially not getting their curry. You on the other hand slander her in such an aggressive way just to prove that you're right. Esh you come across as super hostile here. Do you always get this worked up over a disagreement?
I have a feeling her reaction and leaving was possibly also from how you went about disagreeing. I don't think you're in the wrong for not calling. But she's not out of her fucking mind for thinking it's the right thing to do. Solely for how you spoke to her YTA. I don't think you were obligated to call. It would have been courteous. But not required. In regards to the restaurant piece I wouldn't call you an ass. The way you describe speaking to this poor girl is appalling. You swore at her multiple times over an absolute non-issue and you describe her as off her fucking rocker. These are not phrases adults use to describe people they respect or care about. NTA for not contacting the restaurant. But YTA for being cussing out your GF about it. Was moral obligation a bit excessive? Sure. But so was yelling at her. NTA but no need to get so angry over it TBH. She was trying to be a nice person and yeah it may not have made any sense to you but not SMN worth getting angry about. There are bigger problems in the world woman shrugging medium light skin tone. YTA. So much hostility. It's possible to be correct in an argument and still be the awe. Don't worry kid I don't think you'll have a GF soon. So my question for you. If you lost your wallet and it had your ID. And it wouldn't you want the person that found it to. Return it to you? By your logic F that. You F'd up so any cash cards now have a new owner. YTA. What a hill to die on. YTA someone is gonna call pissed they didn't get their order. Bare minimum give them a heads up. They weren't gonna come back and get your food. She now knows though which way you will lean if it is a moral gray area. YTA because of how you talk to your girlfriend and act in general. Gorilla big man must eat curry and yell at woman gorilla. YTA for the way you spoke to your GF when she is giving a perfectly normal suggestion. And yes, it'll be nice of you to call the restaurant to inform them so they can organize or arrange things on their side in case the curry is missing from another order. YTA. Mostly because you picked this as your hill to die on? Dude, you need to learn to pick your battles. Calling a restaurant about a free curry wouldn't have hurt you. Is it really that important to you to be right? One thing my parents taught me about arguments and fights is. If this was the fight that ended your relationship, would it be a real issue that was worth ending the relationship over? Or would it be embarrassing and petty? And calling over a free curry. That one would be pretty embarrassing. Man. That was a heck of a petty fight to pick with your girlfriend. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aircast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.